Hello, this is Clarence Seydorf and I'm going to be reacting to your food bin comments. This is Jimbo2006. He's saying, such an underrated player, RL, in my opinion, especially in the Netherlands. Yeah, I mean, uh, my story with the Netherlands um, it's pretty obvious, uh, it's clear that in my prime I wasn't called for eight years practically to be part of the national team. Um, only those coaches can explain themselves. I, I, I don't know uh, what happened. It's unfortunate, a dream taken away, of course, to not play World Cups and European Cups, but hey, in life you cannot have everything. So, Onana, oh, another mistake. <laughs> not her mistake, <laughs> okay. Onana, oh, not her mistake. Creative. For UCLs, um, it's incredible. Only Ronaldo, Modric, Carvajal and Benzema have more. Well, I think there are some more who have uh, reached the four uh, Champions League wins. I think that it's a combination of having four, but also have done it with three different teams, which is still, you know, a unique uh, record. Doing it for the same team when you're in such a flow like Barcelona did, like uh, Real Madrid did, but for sure I have big respect for all these players that have achieved um, one Champions League because it's very tough to win a Champions League. And then we have Mato 8 LFC. I managed to meet this guy today, such a nice man and what a player. I'm a season ticket holder at Liverpool and he was doing an interview before the game. He came over and had a chat for a few minutes. That is nice of this Clarence. Do you know the guy? I think he's very nice actually that he did that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Jalau 1990. I read somewhere that Sedov can speak six languages fluently. That's crazy. It's more crazy if you think uh, the places that I've been living uh, my whole uh, life. So I've been traveling so much. I love to speak languages. Uh, I love to communicate. And I think it's a sign of respect as well when you go in a new country. You speak the language, especially when you're somebody like me who likes to really interact and socialize with people. So my Spanish, my Dutch, my English, my Italian, my Portuguese, Surinamese, and then the German. The German is the one that I have lacked using much in my life, but I still understand uh, quite a bit. I don't speak it anymore. <laughs> SFF Retro Trading. Nickname, Il Professore. <laughs> yeah, um, that nickname was given to me long ago. I don't even know anymore how that came about, but um, for sure, um, it's a nickname that uh, I carry with pleasure. Project Stevo. He was playing with the great Khabib Nurmagomedov, my partner in crime with SK Performance Club, Habib, legend of MMA. Habib is a crazy football fan. He's a maniac, actually. He knows so much about players, stats, stats everything. And it was an immediate yes. So we joined forces. We uh, started to, um, you know, work on, on the implementation of it. Canada uh, was the first, um, let's say, place where we opened uh, a school. But we also um, uh, signed contract in Morocco. We are finalizing agreement in, in Saudi uh, and in Abu Dhabi as well. And we're looking to make this really a global, uh, global project. The Iceman 10, oh, that's a number we like. Still remember his goal against Atletico, about 40 yards out. Incredible strike, deserves 99 long shots for that. Yeah, I, I, think, I think for the shots, as we said before, <laughs> 87, that is extremely low for the amounts of goals scored from outside the box. Uh, I think that was one of my trademarks for sure. So I agree with you. Alessand No. Just scored a banger in the game for a crane. Uh, he still got it. Yeah, I had a challenge and that was to showcase my left foot still working. <laughs> my fitness is still there. No, I mean, it was, it was a nice, uh, a nice game, uh, nice goal. Uh, when we were on the pitch, it brings back memories. So it was great to show the fans 
a little bit of the uh, classic moves of Seedorf here. <laughs> Party. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Maldini, Pilo, Van der Sarka, Kakafur, Roberto Carlos, Jaap Stam, Thiago Silva, Ronaldinho, Bergkamp. Man, Seedorf really did play with the best of the best. Yeah, we can add quite some more names to this list. Uh, I've been privileged, um, you know, to play in, uh, with a generation that was really full of talent. And not only talent with the ball, also mentality-wise. I think um, they were really going to leave a legacy, wanting to leave a legacy in football. I wish we could continue to see more of that, also with the coming generation. Johannes Ten. He got picked by Johan Cruyff's talent agency. Baller recognized ballers. That's very true. It was um, Johan Cruyff, his scouting team, that picked me when I came um, during the IX Open Day. That I went with my dad. I had the shoes on of my dad. They were too big, three sizes. I had to have three socks on. And, uh, <laughs> but I got picked immediately to go to the final match after the first day. Um, then I had to play against Patrick Klavert and all the guys that were already in Ajax. Uh, and then after that match I was picked to uh, start my journey in the youth. Rizvaldo. I'm old enough to remember him and Davids in midfield for Ajax. They were an immense pairing. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we grew up together with a very young team. David was three years older than me. Uh, I came up with Patrick Klavert as well and there was a whole generation of uh, young players who grew up in the Ajax uh, Academy it was great times, for sure. Miko Palais, 31. Hope Ryan Grafenberg can live up to the hype. He reminds me of a certain man, Clarence. Hey, uh, as I said before, everybody's unique. Ryan started uh, early. He, he's the one who broke my record in Ajax as the youngest player to make his debut with Ajax. Um, that comes with great responsibility, of course, and uh, he's on the way. I believe in him. I think he can uh, make a great career. We just let him do his path. Everybody, you know, has his own um, destiny. Kondak. FIFA nerds don't even know how good Ciro was. He's a friend. This is a friend. <laughs> so, when I... Um, read this of course uh, football is about the fans right um, it's it's entertaining the fans has been one of my main goals um, playing football um, because because of the fans we could have the life we have because we have an increased uh, market over the years uh, more people following the sport um, traveling around the world even after i finish my career i think i can you know say that i feel the love of the fans everywhere I go, which is really a blessing, which is really something that uh, makes me proud and, and uh, I, I'm grateful. So I hope, you know, the fans continue um, to follow, you know, my activities, of course, and I hope I can continue to give the fans something they can um, enjoy as well. So keep on, uh, keep on following myself, keep on following football, keep on loving this beautiful sport.